I'm Brian Foxellis. I'm the River Lorian and storyteller, cruise director for the Spirit of Peoria Riverboat. I'd love to invite you to join us for an overnight excursion. We board the boat early on Monday morning or Thursday and spend a beautiful day on the river. Breakfast is provided. There's wonderful ragtime piano playing and banjo and guitar. I usually tell a few stories just before lunch, but there's lots of time in between to relax, to just sit on the deck and enjoy the river. We have a, a fresh lunch every day, you know, usually something from one of the cook's gardens. And then after lunch, we do a great sing-along show. We have a sing-along, and everybody loves it. They all join in, and we make them a part of the show. a great deal of fun with our music. The most fun thing we do is the grand finale when you are a part of the show. We've had a lot of fun. We have some dancers on the second day and they learn how to shimmy and they teach everybody else how to shimmy. And our banjo player, Barry Cloyd, loves to wander around. So you might be sitting on the third deck and you hear the faint banjo off in the distance and then he'll come up and take a couple requests and play a couple of your favorite songs. play the Calliope whenever we go through town and the Calliope's a great way for the town to come out and folks will gather on the shore and wave and smile it's it's quite a delight the whole day is like one long party I tell more stories in the afternoon after the wine and cheese when the first steamboat docked in Peoria it was a tiny little outpost barely a village hardly a fort Within five years, Peoria's population multiplied by 10 because of the steamboats. Steamboat coming, steamboat coming, steamboat coming, black smoke fills the sky. Doors swing open, the workers come running, steamboat come to town. Boys come whooping and the dogs come a barking, steamboat coming to town. Horses and carts rumble over cobblestone, steamboat coming to town. Lazy low for her. Run along, steamboat coming to town. She's long and slim, sleek and pretty, sailing down the river just like a cloud. People always rave about our food. You know, of course on a cruise they expect to eat and eat a lot, but the quality and quantity are both something to brag about. We have uh, a prime rib dinner, which is the star as far as the meals go, and that's just the first day. <laughs> Starved Rock is a delightful lodge. It was built by the CCC. It's a historically significant, gorgeous piece of architecture, but it was recently remodeled, so the beds are quite comfortable, new carpeting, new blankets, and that kind of thing. And then in the evening, we have Mark Twain himself, an interpreter who brings Mark Twain's stories to life. Well, now, when I was a young man, in Hannibal, on the river, 
We, we used to spend a part of every summer on my uncle's farm. Along outside the front fence ran a country road. I lead a hike in the evening that focuses more on the plants and animals and the natural history. And then in the morning, we lead a hike on the human history. Barry Cloy, the musician, and I have a wonderful shtick where we talk about the French explorers and the story of Starved Rock. And what I love best is it's great to tell the stories where they happened or we climb to the top of the rock where the starved rock story took place and you get to hear that story and the ghost of the ancient ones kind of listening in. The second day is similar to the first, but new stories, new songs, more time to just relax and enjoy the river, a wonderful lunch. We see great flocks of birds. Today we've probably already seen about 20 bald eagles and several hundred white pelicans. This is the kind of trip that there's really something for everybody. If you love history, if you love fresh air and sunshine and a relaxing trip, then the Spirit of Peoria is a wonderful excursion. Hi, I'm Captain Alex Greaves, owner of the Spirit of Peoria, and I would like to personally invite you and your friends to join us on one of our historic overnight riverboat adventures. The Spirit of Peoria is a fascinating vessel solely propelled by its 21-foot diameter paddle wheel. We are one of the few riverboats today operating without the aid of any thrusters or props. As you can see, we steer the Spirit of Peoria with a 7-foot maple wheel. As we travel the Illinois and Mississippi River, our average speed is between 7 and 10 miles per hour, depending on the current. You board the Spirit of Peoria on 30-foot boarding stages, just like the old days. Its shallow draft is four feet, and that enables us to land in just about any river town. The Spirit is 160 feet long with four decks and stands an impressive 47 and a half feet tall. And I would like to invite you to step back in time with us for an experience right out of history. Whether you travel as an individual or with a group, you'll have the time of your life on this real-life time machine. So remember, our overnight travel begins in May and continues throughout the fall colors in October. Thank you for your time, and we hope to see you on the river.